Good morning, Belvedere. It is Thursday, April 2nd, and I am in the most surreal place in the world. I'm in my classroom, and I only have about 10 more minutes to be here, and in that time I need to grab some stuff and, uh, and get out of here before the next round of teachers come in um, before, uh, before too long here. So, short video today. I want to encourage you that this place doesn't feel the same without you. It's surreal because I see your names on the board. I see some of your work on my desk. I see the stuff that we were planning on doing on the calendar behind me. But yet, even though those things have changed, there's one focus that has not, is that I want you to learn, I want you to grow, and I want this to be a great experience for you. So even though I'm here in some buck gear and my dirty cross-country hat full of sweat stains and all kinds of nastiness, know that my reason for being here is you. And as the weeks progress here, and as apathy and as the difficulties of this time ahead hit you, I want you to remember that there are people fighting for you. And it might not be the physical or tangible fights that we so often see, but it's the struggle every day that we teachers have to get up and to grade things and to look at things and to plan things that we don't know what this future looks like either. So as you're dealing with uncertainty and as you're dealing with the strange things ahead, just remember that this place right here that I'm spinning around in ever so slowly, this place that we normally would be at throughout the mornings, five days a week, it's not the same place without you. So go Bucks, do your best, wash your hands, and I'll catch you tomorrow on Friday. I think I'm going to read one of my favorite poems to you. Have a good rest of your day.